Welcome back, everyone. We're getting another close look at another of Philadelphia's best places. Our Pat Gallen is in East Falls with a place where young people learn more than just how to play a game. Hey, Pat. Good morning, Jim and Brooke. Yeah, Philadelphia not really known as a tennis hotbed per se, but here at Legacy Youth Tennis and Education Center, they're trying to change that. And I got a chance to hang out with a few kids, definitely have something to prove and something to offer. Philadelphia is not known as a tennis hotbed, but at Legacy Youth Tennis and Education in East Falls, a bevy of youngsters are getting ready for the big time, in and out of the sport. There are so many stories of impressive kids who are using Legacy as a springboard, including Gabby Garrett. I went out the Gibson Award Scholarship. And what does that mean? I mean, I won a thousand dollars. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, and it helped like my parents towards my tennis. Gabby's being modest. The Althea Gibson Award honors the memory of the late tennis pioneer and rewards players who excel in helping others on and off the court year round. But she's also got bigger goals to reach. To go to Hampton or Howard University, I want a full ride off of tennis. And um, I want to be an accountant when I grow up, so that's like my biggest goal. Sean Atterbury is another legacy kid coming off an impressive tennis year. Sean is the fourth ranked player in the Delaware Valley who's coming off a state title. He too wants to take on the financial world, but is able to focus on both school and tennis. I probably play six days a week and probably three or four hours a day. Josh Victor is heading to Temple this year to continue his game and education, and because of his academic achievements, was awarded a huge scholarship worth $10,000. It's for athletes who demonstrated good academic skills, so uh, I just applied and I, I honestly didn't really think I'd have a huge chance of getting it, but, uh, but I got a nice email a couple weeks ago <laughs> saying I had uh, received it. With all the talented, smart athletes available, no way I wasn't working on my game. Almost, almost. Two hands gives a little bit of stability sometimes, so some people like that better, you know? Yeah. Some nice motion there. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Good at it. <laughs> <laughs> keep your feet moving, keep your feet moving. Stay active on the balls of your feet. That's good, nice shot. Like, smooth over a little bit. There you go, it's closer, it's closer. Oh, nice head. A little bit of a look away there. What a shot! Let's go! So guys, like most sports I try, I probably need a little bit more work, but that's why we're here at Legacy, because I can get that sort of tutelage, and I can get it from this guy right here, Chris Hill. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Pleasure to see you this morning. So Chris is the director of tennis here at Legacy. Tell us why this place is so important and so cool, really. Well, I think... Um Legacy is important because it brings kids from all over the city of Philadelphia and the surrounding areas together and using tennis as a vehicle and a tool to build character so they can go out in the community in the future and have a great impact. So I talked to a couple of kids that were high school age, 15, 16, 17 years old, but really it's all ages. Absolutely. We started at five years old with a munchkin program and we go all the way up to 18 and sometimes a lot of our college kids come back and they work in the summer and um, some of them are playing in college at a high level and some of them go on to aspire to be professional tennis players. Now, and it's no joke because it's been 90s all week, high humidity. These kids are out here and you just told me they're playing multiple matches per day, so they're getting ready for that in this heat. Absolutely. Um, the heat is uh, no excuse for hard work here, so they've got to go out and uh, perform in these conditions, and sometimes it's very tough, but um, that's what they're here to do every day, warm uh, to get ready for those events. All right, so I talked to a couple of kids that had done some really cool things, including Joshua had gotten a $10,000 scholarship. Another kid that I had interviewed uh, maybe a year or two ago, Tahi Browning, mm -hmm. he's another of those aspiring tennis players that's number one ranked in Pennsylvania. Is that correct? Um, yes, Tahi is one of our top players. We have another guy, Jeremy Casabine, who just got to the finals of nationals and won two silver balls. Um, Josh, obviously, is going to Temple next year. Right. So we have quite a, quite a few kids doing a lot of different good things. Some special stuff happening Absolutely. here. Chris, appreciate the time. Chris Hill, the director of tennis. Jim and Brooke, a lot of cool things happening here. And if you want to brush up on your game, I suggest you come down here. <laughs> Thanks Thank a lot, Pat.